Today on Sugar Spun Run, I'll be showing you how to make a broccoli cheese soup. Hey Sugar Spun Bakers, Sam here, and today I have not a sweet baked good recipe for you, but a savory broccoli cheese soup. I think you're going to love it just as much as my sweet recipes. Now, before we head over to our stove top, I wanted to talk to you about prepping some of our ingredients. We wanna get these ready before we move over to our stove top so everything can move along really quickly. Now, the first thing you're going to need is one medium-sized yellow onion. We're going to go ahead and dice this. We'll first remove our skin from our onion. Not our actual skin, that would be weird. Try not to cry when you're doing this. That's always one of the most important parts of making any kind of soup. We'll go ahead and put our onion in a dish, in a separate dish, because we're going to need to prep a few more ingredients before we begin. The next thing you'll want to prep is your broccoli. We're going to need four cups of broccoli florets for this recipe. What I usually do is I'll buy about a pound of broccoli crowns and then I will cut the tops off, get rid of the stem. You don't really need that. Now, some people like to include some of the stems in their soup. If you want to, you can. I just prefer to cut off as much for mine as possible. And one of my dogs really likes broccoli, so I can give him a few of the stems as a treat. I think I just have a really weird dog. You'll wanna cut these broccoli florets pretty small, but don't worry about it if you can't get them as tiny as you'd like. We're going to be using a blender or an immersion blender a little bit later on to cut these florets or to puree the soup so they're even finer. This time last year, Zach and I lived less than a mile from a Panera Bread and I used to get their broccoli cheese soup all the time and bring it home for dinner. But now we live on 50 acres in the middle of nowhere, so I can't really bring home broccoli cheese soup anymore. So I decided to improvise and make my own recipe. Once I've removed most of the stems from my broccoli, I like to just take my knife, almost like I'm mincing garlic, and just chop through the broccoli to cut it into small pieces. And I'll just set this broccoli aside in a small bowl. We're also going to need one third cup of grated carrot, and you can peel this if you want. I usually don't. Just make sure you wash it really well. If you wanted to use matchstick carrots, that would be fine too. These will be added to the soup at the same time as the broccoli, so I'm just going to toss those in with our broccoli florets. The last thing you're going to want to prep before we begin is eight ounces of sharp cheddar cheese. Now, please don't try to use the pre-shredded cheese that you buy in a bag. That stuff is coated with a type of powder that keeps the cheese from sticking together in the bag. That also keeps it from melting properly when you add it to the soup. So if you use that cheese, you might get lucky. It might melt properly for you, or it could just clump up into a gross ball. So stick with a nice quality or mid quality, high quality block of cheese, you need eight ounces. I don't wanna grate my fingers, so I'm just gonna cut up these last couple pieces. Set this aside as well. Could have used a bigger bowl. No, that looks pretty nice actually. So now that we've prepped all of our ingredients, we are going to want to head over to the stove top. You are going to need a large pot. I personally like to use a Dutch oven and we are going to add to that pot five tablespoons of unsalted butter. Turn your stovetop heat to medium and let that butter melt. Once your butter has melted and your pot is nice and hot, we are going to add our diced onion. And we'll cook our onion until it's softened. This is gonna take about three to five minutes. Next, you will need one third cup of all-purpose flour. Now we are going to sprinkle this over our onion and our butter mixture. And you'll want to use a whisk at this point and we'll just whisk everything together until the flour is nice and smooth and there are no lumps. Next thing you'll need is one and a half cups of whole milk. We are going to gradually add this milk into our flour mixture while whisking constantly. Now continue to whisk everything together until the milk is nicely incorporated, your mixture is smooth and it begins to thicken. Now once that's looking slightly thickened, we are going to add one and a half cups of heavy cream, 
two cups of low sodium chicken broth. Here we will add our broccoli and our carrots. And now we'll add our salt, pepper, and spices. We're going to start with one teaspoon of salt, add a half teaspoon of ground black pepper, a half teaspoon of granulated sugar, a half teaspoon of onion powder, a half teaspoon of garlic powder, and I also love to add a half teaspoon of ground mustard. Now stir everything together until it's nicely combined and we are going to turn our heat up just slightly to medium high and we are going to stir pretty frequently and bring this mixture to a boil. Once everything is at a boil, we can actually decrease our heat, take it back down to a simmer and we are going to cook, stirring constantly until the mixture is thickened. Now this consistency is perfect, so next you are going to need your immersion blender. Now if you don't have an immersion blender, I'll tell you how to use a regular blender in a second, but what I'm going to do is I am going to just use my immersion blender and I'm going to puree about 75% of the soup. You can actually puree it to your taste, so if you like a really thin soup, puree it even longer. If you like to have more broccoli pieces in there, puree a little bit less. Now, if you don't have an immersion blender, what you'll do is you will just transfer some of the soup in batches to a blender, puree it there, and then return it to the pot. Once you have pureed your soup to the desired consistency, all that's left to do is add the cheese. So we're going to go ahead and add this now. And I always like to take the heat down to low when I'm stirring in the cheese, just because you don't want to heat it too quickly. And we are just going to stir everything together until the cheese is completely melted in the soup. Once your cheese has been added and is melted, I like to let the soup simmer just a little bit longer and then it is ready to serve. And that is how easy it is to make broccoli cheese soup at home. If you guys try this recipe out, I would love to hear what you think. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. No Panera needed.